All right, make a long test drive out of this one. It's a 1962 Impala. This is the four door with a 283 under the hood. What I like to do is take them down the road, point out the flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. So check us out. We're in Hendersonville, Tennessee. You can go to our main website, maplemotors.com. You can see a hundred detailed pictures of this car and every car on the car lot. And we update every Monday with new inventory. I just updated uh, about 11 o'clock today. So you can see all them fresh new rides and next week we should have a big update trying to catch up from this last week. We do honest car reviews here. I'm gonna point out chips, scratches, dents, flaws, take her down the road, tell you the brakes, how the gas feels, how the steering feels. And you'll know this car before you come down here to check it out. I know people get tired of Hey, me myself too going to different states and people misleading you so that's why i'm doing these videos and you know what it's about that time let's go for a ride getting ready to roll out of here let's look around the interior we'll check some stuff out We'll check the gauges out, all the switches, the wipers. The dash looks pretty good. You know, the interior is a little bit faded. It'll probably be cleaned up. You got some strings hanging off back here in the corner on your seal. But the headliner, it's not ripped up or anything. It looks decent. You got a speaker in the middle of the package tray back here. Some of it's kind of tethering in those corners. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? We have a game we like to play on the channel here. It does start up easy. Radio doesn't work. Oh, ashtray. Blower motor. It's kicking on. No AC on this car. I can show you the mileage. It's hard to stand behind mileage without paperwork. But it says 9,246. Wipers? Hey, they're not fast, but they're working. Could be longer, too. Real short wipers. Horn? Oh, yeah. Horn's working good. Gas gauge is about halfway. If it starts moving while I'm driving, a good indication is it is working. So there's a float in there. They've taped the bottom of the door. A lot of times you'll get in and out of the car and you'll go, Boom! Kick that. I know that's what's happening. I don't know what this is. Hopefully we'll figure it out during the ride. No hesitation. Make sure your parking brakes off. Let's hit the road. I didn't look up. Apparently look. Right here. Well, right above my head, all the rest of the headliner's fine. This right here needs to be sewed back. Just that, looks like the threads just kind of popped. Got to fix that part. All right, a lot of y'all going to be asking questions about this. Clear it up. I was in a uh, off-roading accident this weekend. Had to get some stitches, 13 of them. It wasn't terrible. Could have been worse. And no, I wasn't driving. If I was driving, I know it wouldn't have happened. Let's hit the road. Anything that I see, I will let you know. That's the reason I do these videos. Speedometer is coming up on the dash. Going pretty straight down the road. Just a little bit of slack in the steering, about there to there. It's going left now, it's going right now. Not much, nothing to be concerned about. She's got good pull. Brakes on this one, they feel okay. They're pretty good. If I got down on them, it would have stopped faster.
double checking. Doesn't seem like that passing gear is hooked up. But that's the kick down where it shifts down into the lower gear. Gas gauge is floating around on the dash. I believe it is working. Forgot we gotta go the long route. Pops wanted me to run some errands, but I wanted to do some videos, so. Another thing I noticed about this before we took off, no seat belts in it. And just to be clear, if I was wearing a seat belt this weekend, I probably wouldn't have got hurt either. But I was in one of them razors in the passenger seat. So far so good, this thing's really easy to drive. You pretty much have this video, I'm just not even touching the steering wheels. Squeaky pedal. The turn signal is cutting on on both sides. The right bulb on the dash seems like it is out. I'm not getting, oh no. It's in the switch. So it's got like a sudden flash. Take the key to open that. Very smooth suspension. Woo. Yeah, this is my town. There's so many red lights here. It's crazy.
stop me now. Yeah, that song's still stuck in my head. If y'all watch the other video, you'll know what I'm talking about. These vent windows work pretty good. Real smooth. That's my uh, natural AC or my pant leg AC. I guess people used to use them for smoking, but not too many people smoke nowadays. when we leave here the next scene what you're going to see is undercarriage shots uh, outside I'm going to drop by the camera real fast you know get a good idea what it sounds like going down the road probably get some overhead shots we'll have a little fun with it So let's walk in here, get everything. Now it's working perfect. Now, it's like flashing, but it it's definitely in the switch. Let's go on in here and uh, I'll see y'all in a minute. I haven't been here in a while. School brings back memories. Okay. Let's roll out of here. There goes steering wheels. I noticed the throttle on this one, it's not hanging up, but it's, it kind of is. So when you touch the gas, like, it'll stay at that RPM. You can floor it and everything, it'll come back. These are heavier spring. But I just popped the throttle right there at the end. It brings the idle back down. Keeps it all nice and smooth. The rain's trying to move in on me. What I'm gonna do is go back to the lot now. Uh, we're gonna pop the hood, the trunk, and we're gonna look around the outside of this car. I'm gonna check for dents and scratches, all the, any kind of rust, any issues, all the issues I can find. 
And you know what I'm gonna say, that way you know exactly what you get before you get here. Don't forget those detailed pictures too. I know I'll say it again before the video's over, but. Somebody definitely take this handle. It's funny, the red almost matches. They did that one too. They didn't do the backs. You can tell this one runs and drives great. I've been sitting in lines. It's not overheating. It's not having any of those issues at all. Basically, the only thing I've seen is the needs a bigger spring on the return on the throttle. That way it don't ever get hung up or get stuck in a different RPM. You see why I don't go this way, right? There's so much traffic on this end of town. I really enjoyed making the videos in that parking lot back there. I'd love if I could go there all the time. It's a good stretch from the lot. See, it's doing it there. And then stop. Get pretty close to the lot now. It's on down the hill here. All right, we're pulling in. I do want to thank you for watching these videos. Now is when we're going to go over the outside and get the flaws. It's about to rain, so I'm going to do this right now and get her done. Thank you for watching, guys. Hit subscribe. Share this video. I've got more coming your way.
All right, we're back at the lot now. We're gonna walk around this car, check it all out, hopefully beat the rain, and uh, I'll let you know what it needs. I'll show you all the chips, scratches, rust, dents, anything that is on this car, and there's quite a few little spots that you need to know about. Be sure to check out those detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We'll get you hooked up. We also have financing and shipping. Let's get started. Coming around the front, the bumper here has got some light scratches on it. A little rust popping up here and there. Definitely got some dirt up under the grill there. There's a little ding there in the grill. You've got some chips in the paint. There's a lot of them. We're not going to go over every single chip because there is so many on this one. So I'm going to be looking for like big dents and scratches that you would need to know about. You see all the little touch-up marks? We'll go over every inch of the car, though. There's a little chip there. The bottom of your door. And that corner there, edge of your door there, has got some chips. So got some in the corner there. Got some like scuffs at the bottom there. There's a ding in your bumper with a scratch on it. Coming back this midsection. Get a couple chips, some scratches and stuff, light cracking in the paint. Old paint job on this. See all the little chips there. Some decent chrome. You got some fading going on on your trim. Couple chips in the door. Crack in the paint there. Coming up over the top of the fender. A little chalky. Front windshield looks good on this one. Same as down in the jam. Mirror looks good. Trim looks good around the windows. You got some light scratches up here on top. Looks like some fingerprints. Little rust spots trying to come out. Your seal around your back window's got some cracks in it. got some rust around the edge of your windshield there coming up on the back weather stripping on this one's a little bit older still soft I'm sure it's still working the trunk in here doesn't look like it's been wet here recently did rain a lot yesterday here in Hendersonville it downpoured still got some rust but mainly just surface rust from what it looks like to me. Little dirty spots in there. It's actual dirt. The package tray's solid in this one. You got your skirts there too. <coughs> Looking up in the trunk here, look at your edges. Little surface rust popping up. I don't see anything major, just kind of you know, old paint job, really. Jason told me, I keep my phone on airplane mode now because of the videos. He said, did you get pop some tacos? I was like, oh no, I didn't even know about it. I would, I would know about it when I walk back in the office though, because my phone would start receiving the text messages. <laughs> Let's 
couple little dings there. A little snag up there. Did you see that? It's coming down though. Trunk's just a little bit off. It's hitting on this side. That little snag up there was probably a loose hinge that needs to be tightened up. You can see it kind of coming up and down there. Coming down this side, we're gonna hit the lower portion, come back to the midsection and then over to the top, and then we'll go to the middle of the car and check out everything on the inside. Up over your fenders, you got some light scratches, some chips and cracks of the paint. Try to get all these little chips and stuff in the video here. There's a scuff on the front bumper there too. Right there on the edge. Coming back to midsection. Got some chips. Checking over the trim. There's a nice little scratch. It's kind of a dent too, so that is in the paint in the passenger door. Also one right here. The trim coming down the side of the car, you can see the paint's kind of coming off of it. It's all chalky oxidized missing your mirror it's gone over the top portion here all the trim looks good windows are nice you got some rust around the edges there Kind of around the window, all the trim there. Oh, they brought the puppy dog. What's up, Nala? That's my dog. My family, guys. She come up here to bring me some bandages. All right. Made it all the way around this ride. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop the, oh, we already popped the hood, pop the door open, jump on the interior, check it out some more get this motor started and we'll conclude this video. Weather's tripping on this one is a little bit weak. You can see there's some spots. Eventually it's gonna need to be replaced. Let's say whoever paints this car would do that at that point. This has been taped at the bottom. Like I said, it was a kick. So it's causing it to uh, bus we'll check the bottom of the door check the actual door this was taped up I, was, I assume they went ahead and did it since it matches so well carpet in this one is older it's not new carpet at all the uh, the seat here has got some wear up on top a little dirty looking wear down there in the bottom Back seat, package tray, headliner. The light works. Pitting on your light. And then that little rip there where the seam is broke. Reach in. Start her up. Hold on. The old clock don't work no more.
little bit of an exhaust leak. It almost sounds like it's coming from down below it, so. Under the hood here. on down with it comes down very easy it does have some dents in the trim like chips and the hood is sitting real high over here on this side I think that hinge could be adjusted out better Don't forget, maplemotors.com has finance and shipping and 100 detailed pictures along with all of the cars in our inventory. You can check those out every Monday. We update with new inventory. And if you don't mind, hit subscribe, share this video, and hit like. That helps me out more than you know. Big thanks in advance. And I'll keep making these videos for you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Y'all have a good one. That was right beside my old high school. They got an empty parking lot here.